Day number 12 of 90 days. Day number 12 of 90 days. Dear, we're on day seven. Why are you saying day 12? Day number 12. It'll be day number 12 by the time they see this, which will be released on Thursday. It's not right. It's day seven of our day. So even if they see it in the 12th day, you have to follow the chronological order when you're doing stuff. It's day number seven today, but by the time that you guys see this, it's gonna be day number 12. All right? All right, now that we got that clear, let's move forward. Of 90 days. All right guys, so for breakfast, we have a whole zucchini, picante, medium. <laughs> One cup of egg whites, pepper jack cheese, and I use Mrs. Dash jalapeno for flavor as far as seasoning. Bomb. Excellent source of carbs. Very light on the carbs. You got your protein and fat. Bam! Breakfast is served. So two of the seasonings that I use the heck out of guys, it's uh, Mrs. Dash Spicy Jalapeno and Mrs. Dash for chicken. For the chicken though, Mrs. Dash, I highly recommend this because of the um, sodium intake. It's very low on these two. And then of course, you know, I like everything spicy, but it also gives it a little flavor because chicken kind of gets old throughout the week, eating it over and over. So I have some ground beef that's cooked. This has a little bit more fat, so I drained it. Um, has probably about 15% fat. Right now, I am getting the 7%. And then we have chicken for the week. This is only three grilled chicken breasts, but like I said before, Armand only eats like four ounces to six ounces, and he gets the rest of his protein from either protein powder, protein bars. Hey guys, it's your boy Walker's dad. That's me uh, mocking my wife. She's gonna tell you she's not gonna put that in, but she should because it's funny as hell. Anyway, so really quickly, just to kind of chime in, this is chicken, right? I'm a brother. This is chicken. It's natural. All right, that's that's a bad joke, but here's the truth. We are actually not necessarily meal prepping, but Brenda makes some things at the beginning of the week that's a lot easier to make because, you know, at the end of the day, we're like really busy. But chicken's got some protein in it. Hey, I got you guys a protein shake. And when we work out, things like that, you need to build some muscle. You can do it a couple ways. You can get protein from a bunch of various sources like powders, meat. It actually works throughout the week when I'm taking a meal to work and when Brenda's gonna make something at the house. Uh, and it's just a simple meal to make. Uh, remember, protein to make you grow, team, bruh. Protein. 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 But, Protein is very important if you're going to work out. Protein is very important actually if you're going to lose weight. So just make sure you take in the appropriate amount. Too much will hurt you. Too little won't do anything for you. Yeah, I think I've showed you guys this before, but Power Crunch Bars huh? are the bomb. I have a few in here. Oh, and yeah, don't mind that Snicker bar right there. Yep. <laughs> but I have a few Quest Bars. This The Quest Bars are usually higher in fat. Um, just a regular granola bar. I mean, before I work out or something, I'll maybe eat that. I don't know. I mean, it's just in there just to grab. A Quest bar with the, um, it's a peanut butter Reese's cup. Warm. These things are so good when they're a little warm. This cookie one. Mm. And then I also have like, um, peanut butter, a peanut butter cream. Power Crunch, and then these are absolutely my favorite. I would say we eat a lot more vegetables, right babe? Yeah. We eat a lot more vegetables, and definitely I eat a lot more fruit. I at least have maybe about two servings of fruit a day. That's like 100 grams a you serving. Makes us poop a lot more. <laughs> Anyhow, about two servings a day of fruit for me, that's 100 grams um, of fruit each serving. And then as far as vegetables, I try to up that because of the fiber to Armand's point. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we eat a lot more vegetables. So a lot more chopping, a lot more prepping. Um, but if you cook all your protein on Sunday, I promise you, 
it'll be a lot less as far as cooking uh, throughout the week if you have it on hand. Don't cook too much though because, yeah, too much cooked meat and you don't eat it all, that's like a waste. Don't be wasteful. I really want to up my cardio. I really want to up my cardio, but damn, I don't know about you guys, but I hate sitting there doing cardio. Oh no, I hate doing cardio. I hate it. start off this because we've been arguing. You should leave that part in there. Whatever, Mom. You always want to leave bad parts in there. Hey guys, here we are seven days later. Actually, you know they can see you, right? Stop. Hey guys, here we are on our eighth day however by the time that you guys see this video it's going to be day number 10 if you release on a wednesday no thursday then 11. thursday as they see this which would be the 12th that's not the 12th day it's not babe no it's not the 12th on today thursday. is monday there's the eighth day tuesday is the ninth day Wednesday is the eleventh day. I'm sorry. Wednesday is the tenth day, and then Thursday is the eleventh day. I have no idea where she went. Are you coming back? Okay, guys. It's your guy Walker's dad. Mike and my wife from a couple years ago. So we're like, I don't know, we're gonna argue over how many days we're into this and Brenda can put it up on like the screen when it pops up and all the effects and all that stuff. So the thing is, is we're actually gonna talk about what's been working and what's not been working since we started whatever day we were in on our 90 day challenge. So first and foremost, the things that we haven't done, which is good because it is working in theory is we haven't gone out to eat, so that's a good deal, right? Um, however, we have, of course, like I still drink beer, and I had cookies one day. So, and at my job we had a barbecue, so that's not exactly helping out on the weight loss. And in fact, over this period of time of the first week, uh, with all that being said, it's only like 1.2 pounds of weight loss for me, versus Brenda, who hasn't actually been doing all that stuff, and she lost how many pounds? Four point. 4.4 pounds. 4.4 pounds. Now in theory, because I do outweigh Brenda by quite a bit, you would say that if somebody's doing it the right way, I would lose more weight than she would, so I'd be like five or six pounds into it. But I haven't been watching my diet as tight as she has. So that is part of it. Some of the things that I've been doing differently with my diet, guys, is I've been upping the vegetables, I've been upping the protein, and if you guys remember, we talked about a little bit on our live stream, I personally don't eat a lot of meat, so my protein source comes from a lot of eggs, peanut butter, vegetables, um, versus Armand, he eats a lot of chicken. I see he'll eat chicken, I'll eat beef, I'll eat like we've had I think mostly you eat chicken right now though. I mean we've been venturing off to lean meats, chicken and shrimps um, for this week. Now, who's to say next week what we're going to change it up to? But if you watch my snaps, um, you will see some of the things that I have, I've been eating personally myself. Um, I've been releasing my snaps as far as like breakfast ideas. Just up the protein, we up the uh, vegetables. My body reacts differently to, than Armand's. Like me, gluten and um, dairy products is a big no-no. However, I can have yogurt with no issues. I don't understand that and cheese. So I'll tell you the one thing to be careful about is if you eat chicken, 
So for this, we, there's a part on the clip where you'll see where she meals preps, or not meal prep, but she'll make like certain meats so that we can eat it throughout the week. Um, chicken, be careful about. You know, we had chicken one day and I think it gave us mud butt. So <laughs> that was like, you know, I probably lost like but five pounds that day, but I put it back on. There was also a point in the week also where we both gained weight. Do you remember that point of the week? Yeah, it's a weekend. And it was, no, it was a weekend. We ate late. We ate extremely late. And I think also that the, as far as like the um, weigh-ins, they sometimes say like weigh yourself at the same time, eat at the same time, because if you don't, it kind of throws off the scale. I mean, by the next day, we were kind of in line. We started losing the weight that we gained. I think our mom gained like, let me see, hold on. Yeah, you gained one pound and I had gained almost a pound. Yeah, so I, I don't understand that. Um, we're still learning in this whole process, but it was like, it was very odd because we ate like at eight or nine o'clock that night. We yeah. ate very, very late and then the next day. But we didn't eat bad. It was actually no. after working out at the gym, so we didn't eat. Uh, we actually ate um, like salads, chicken, and I know I had a protein shake. So sometimes you gotta be careful about that. You know, when you go to bed or you eat, a protein source and you go to bed you're not going to necessarily digest it so we got to make some changes and it's fun. something that i'm doing differently i am paying strong attention to my macros i'm all i'm ma i'm a macro person so i'm going to take a look at my protein i'm going to take a look at my fat i'm going to take a look at my carbs and make sure that it's well balanced um that was one of my goals is as far as the protein and the carbs were going to be like 30 30 and then the fat was going to be it was just all going to balance each other um, I wasn't going to reduce one extremely or the other and, and it's working out for me as far as our mom I think you're only eating what like three meals a day yeah typically I'll eat um, something like a snack in the morning and then I'll eat lunch whatever she packs and then I'll eat dinner at night time and versus me I'm eating like five meals a day and yeah. I've lost 4.4 .4 versus him what two pounds yeah but then I mean that's understandable they tell you you should graze so with her being able to graze or actually eat five meals a day that are not necessarily heavy meals and then I'll come home and I'll eat uh, a heavy, heavy meal at night time, you can understand how that works. So it's got, it's got some signs too. We got some things to tweak in 90 days, so we're going to see what happens. Yep. Um, the biggest thing again is not eating out. So that's, you know, that's I think a big part of it. I mean, yeah, that's like a challenge for us right now because that was one of the things that we talked to you guys about in the live as far as us going just you know basically grieving and eating out all, every day for every single meal and that's where a lot of the weight gain came from so yeah. i think yes that was going to be a challenge for us but i think eventually i mean within the nine days challenge the 90 day challenge is just basically get back to a healthier us i don't think it's more of saying hey no more eating out point blank period. well it's not really it's just getting back like you said a healthier getting us, our bodies back to getting getting back into being more athletic and right. having fun. Like for instance, um, one of my goals within the 90 days is to get back into bike riding because I actually enjoy that. Um, and I know that that's something that helps me to clear my head and it's just healthy for you. So it's things like this that we're talking about, like the common man's challenges uh, are really kind of making time for yourself, making healthy time for yourself. So that's, I think that's really the goal at the end of the day. I'm really excited to see what next week's going to bring as far as how much weight loss we're going to have for next week. So I'm really excited. I'm really pleased how everything is going. And yeah, I'm just happy that we started this. I'm happy that he brought it up as far as the idea of, hey, babe, let's do this 90 day challenge. I mean, I'll even help you. I mean, you really don't see our mom a lot on my YouTube videos, but I'm really happy that you decided to go ahead and do this. So anyhow, thanks, babe. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Today is just basically, we were going over the proteins, um, not as much as the maintenance, just the beginning of everything, but hope you guys return to this channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, and because it helps us out. It helps us out, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys, it's your boy, Walker Stead. That's me uh, mocking my wife in her first video. We're not putting that in. <laughs> Go ahead. She's going to tell you she's not going to put that in, but she should because it's funny as hell.